hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be doing a get ready with me but it's gonna be like my everyday makeup look so here we are well we're gonna be doing a little chit chatting so if this is not the type of video you like you probably might want to skip around to something else and I'll talk to you guys later so we'll get to it but before we get started I do have a sponsor to shout out so here we go before we get started with today's video I wanted to shout out Janota Beauty for sending over these beautiful lashes. So I'm going to show you each lash one by one and we're going to get through this. Now in this pack it's a pack of 10 and as you can see each one of them is marked M10, M1, M2. If you continue watching today's video you will see me try on uh, M2 I believe. So I have M2 on today in the, today's video. Look how beautiful these lashes are. Like I'm so so happy they reached out to me and they sent me these lashes over y'all because I ain't gonna lie like they came in just a nick of time because I'm like oh I need some more lashes and these are super high quality lightweight like I'm in love super affordable too so if this is something you're interested in make sure you check the link in my description box below you can get your own set of 10 lashes now these are 3D lashes as well so you can get your own set for the affordable price of $7.99 I thought that was really really a good deal because these lashes are certainly worth it and they have all these different styles so you don't have to have the same boring lashes every day you could try a different lash every day if you want to like these are so cute and in this mix you got some thick ones you got a little bit of lighter ones like Whatever you're in the mood for, nightlife type lashes, like look at these, so freaking cute. So again, if this is something you're interested in, make sure you check the link in my description box below. Today we're going to be doing a my everyday makeup look. It's a get ready with me, and I will be doing some talking in this because I got some information to share with y'all. I know my eyes are a little puffy and my voice is a little weird, but I've been having issues with sinuses lately. Living out here in Georgia has been kicking my but my whole family, honestly. <laughs> so that's why I'm looking like this. So I've already put a little bit of makeup on my eyebrows. And what I use is this old eyeshadow, y'all. Y'all see how bad it is and it broke and everything. I use this old eyeshadow I've been having forever. I think it's from Wet n Wild. And this is what I do when I'm pressed for time. So this is my everyday makeup. So I just outline my eyebrows on a full bead is use some type of concealer to outline them. But because this is my everyday makeup, I'll use my regular concealer to outline my eyebrows. So that's what I'm going to do now. That and then we'll get into talking because you know eyebrows you really got to concentrate <laughs> I will literally spot treat my face so right now I'm like breaking out on my neck I think it's from wearing those masks so much so I would just go in and like spot treat my face if that makes any sense. So I would literally use this is a this is Dermablend. This is old. I've been having this forever. And this is really good for covering up like dark spots on your face. And I got this in the color dark. Um, so I would usually use this and just go through and cover up any dark spots on my face. And it blends so well with my skin tone. So that's why I really love using this. So I would just go in and do that. Like I have spots here. I just go in and blend them out. You don't want to put too much because this is kind of heavy too. You see that? Bam. So as y'all can see, it looks like my skin so that's what I do I just go around my face and do that so and that's it so now my face is looking very natural so from here, I do take my concealer and I will put a, a little bit of it under my eye just to give me more of a highlight look under my eyes, wake me up. 
Um, so that's what I'll do now. And you can see it's already waking my face up. So from here, I do go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills um, setting powder. That way, like, it doesn't get all oily. I'm a really bad oily person in my T-zone area. So I like to put this on so throughout the day my face looks very matte. But anyway, let's get into it, guys. So... Y'all can see that. Okay, so this award is actually not from what I'm about to tell you, but it's very ironic, y'all. And I'm going to make a video on manifestation and law of attraction. It's very ironic how that worked, how this worked out. So this is an award that says Jasmine Alexander Best Actress 2021, right? So y'all know, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've been making um, short films. Well, I, I have made short films. I haven't made any in a while. Um, my last one was February, I believe. And in my short films, I was just so proud because this is my first time. Y'all know my ultimate goal is to be a director. So I was making a couple of short films. Where's my brush? I've been making a few short films, right? And so the film festivals has been opened up. And so I was like, you know what? I don't know anything about film festivals. I don't know anything about this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and try it and see. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it and see what happens. So that's what I did. I submitted my previous film. If you haven't watched my my film, definitely check it out. It's under Jazz Dale Produ Productions. I'll leave the link in the description box. You can just click on that, and you can check out my film, my latest film. But anyway, it's really really short too. Um, it's like two minutes long, y'all, so <laughs> you can watch it. It'll be okay. So anyway, I submitted that to a film festival. I've actually submitted it to multiple film festivals, but one of them, um, the deadline has came up, so they were able to go ahead and make a decision. Y'all, my film won Best Actress. Ain't that crazy? Like, that is crazy to me. Like, like, how? How did I manifest that, you know? My film won Best Actress. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. The film, to me, is really, it's, it's good. It has a meaning behind it, but I don't think it's the best. I only submitted it just to see what happens, you know what I'm saying? Just to say I did it. Oh, I submitted my film because I know that's what, you know, what you need to do to give it a shot. But honestly, I had no intention of the film doing anything, <laughs> So I was really, really shocked. I even told my husband, like, when I got the email, I was like, oh, they're probably just telling me. Because, you know, in your email, how you can read that first, like, line or two. And it was like, um, film freeway, uh, judge's decision. I said, oh, they probably just telling me that my, my thing didn't make it. Which is cool. That's fine. I figured it, you know. So just imagine me opening it up and it's like, you have been awarded. Your film was chosen for best actress. I was like... So freaking shocked, you guys. So shocked. The power of manifestation is real. It's so real. And it seemed like ever since I've been in Georgia, I've been able to manifest so much easier and so fast. Like, truly. I don't want to get too much into that. But if you guys are interested in things like that, make sure to comment below and let me know. And I'll make a whole video on how all this came about. But y'all, I'm so, 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 so excited. I'm so proud of us. It was me and a friend, um, my acting friend. She moved here from Texas as well. And uh, we've actually worked together on projects in Texas. I don't know if y'all know Farah Gray, but we worked together on some of his projects together. And that's how we met. And so when we moved, when I moved to Georgia, it's like, I think she moved like, a couple of months later and it was like you're out here I'm out here so we was like let's do some films together and that's kind of how that happened so we um and it was she was okay with me <laughs> literally experimenting because you know I'm, I've never um done any type of films before like that 
I've always been the one in front of the camera. So it was really cool to have somebody that's okay to experiment with me and actually have a reward at the end. You know what I'm saying? So I congratulated her on Facebook and everybody that had anything to do with the project. Um, Cause we did have a few other people on set that day. It was so, so nice. Like y'all, I was so stressed out. I'm not gonna lie. I was so stressed out during that filming. But I now I look back and I'm like, you know what? It was all worth it. It was a lot of fun too, but I was so stressed out because I'm like a perfectionist. Like I like things to be perfect. I want it to be right. And if it's not, I'm a feel I feel stressed. And <laughs> that's exactly how I felt. So uh, I'm so glad that it turned out so good. It turned out good. And obviously it turned out good enough to get an award. So I need to stop being so hard on myself. And um just go with the flow sometimes everything is not going to be perfect so uh, yeah it has a great message behind it if you go watch the film you can definitely check that out it's something that we're all dealing with our kids are dealing with it our nieces nephews everybody's dealing with it with social media so i think it's very relatable um i'm about to grab my lashes give me a minute and we're gonna finish this look up because y'all it's very simple i don't do too much on my everyday look okay so out of the Janota beauty um eyelashes we're gonna be choosing this one today hold on let me take it out the package yes yes they feel so good yeah so these are the lashes we're gonna be using today so these are cute i'll definitely be wearing these again so what i do now after I put my lashes on, y'all, it's ghetto, but this is what I do. So just to give my eye, um, just to give my eyes a little color, I will instead of like going into different eyeshadows, I will just usually use a blush. I love a nice soft pink blush above my eyes, like for my eyeshadow. I love that. I don't know. I've always been doing that. So I'm gonna use the NY. Egg sweet cheeks really a blush but I, I like to use blushes sometimes because they have their pigment is so nice so that's all I'm gonna do is put a little bit up top and I just sweep it through that's it after that I usually do a lip an everyday lip for me is usually like lip gloss y'all for sure for sure just a gloss that's it y'all this is my everyday look um you know, I got to do my hair, so I'll be right back. So I decided to put it in a high bun. I think this is so cute because it kind of shows more of my face anyway. Um, so yes, guys, this is it. This is the final look. I hope you guys liked it, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.